time gone north of the border. Welcome to Olympic Stadium in Montreal. It's the middle game of a three-game weekend series between the Expos of Montreal and the Rockies of Colorado. The other thing that's happened is they've kind of jumped on Larry Walker's shoulders. He's been hot three home runs in the last three games. They may be booing Larry Walker here in Montreal, but I'm sure you're cheering wildly back home in Colorado. Welcome back to Olympic Stadium in Montreal, where the hockey team known as the Habs and maybe the baseball team known as the Hab Knots. Here is the starting lineup for the Rockies that Cormier will face, brought to you by the Rocky Mountain News. Eric Young will lead off. He led off with a double last night and scored a run. He also drove home one. Ellis Burks trying to get off to a better start after 0 for his last 14. He might do it against Cormier. He has hit him hard, 5 for 7, including a home run here last year. Larry Walker, he's 6 for 12 after going 0 for 4 in the opener. He'll be followed by Galarraga, Bichette, Castilla, Reed, Bates, and Bailey. The first pitch from Cormier is popped up into shallow center field. Out goes Grezelonic, the shortstop, and there's one away. And he said, yeah, she told me I was looking too anxious at the plate. And he said, I responded to her, well, you would look anxious, too, if you were 0 for your last 14. And on two pitches, Cormier has two outs. Now Larry Walker, boy, off to a great start, hitting 375. Three homers, including one last night. Six runs batted in. And they boo Larry Walker here because he left as a free agent to Colorado in 95. After beginning his career here with the Expos, really isn't Larry's fault. And that's one thing that I'm sure is troubling to him as he gets booed every time he comes back to Montreal. It was the Expos who, not unlike a lot of other players they have let go, just said, we just don't want to pay the fare. Walker wanted to stay in Montreal. But it just wasn't possible. There's the breaking ball. Hit hard, but Siggy's got it on a couple of hops. A relatively easy inning for Cormier in the Expos as the Rockies go in order. Rockies don't score in their half of the first. So let's take a look at the lineup that Roger Bailey will face as he gets his first start of 97. It's the pitch that uh, he really worked on this spring. He's had it in the past, had some problems with it last year controlling it, but it was his best pitch during the spring. On the ground, Bates has got it. Long throw to first. Good stretch by Galarraga. Facing an 0-2 count. Hits this one hard to Galarraga, but he'll step on the bag. Too quickly gone for the Expos. On the ground to Castilla. Vinny's got it. Toss across in time. One, two, three. Go the Expos. So Roger Bailey, he settles in quickly. We've played one. No score at Olympic Stadium in Montreal. Roger Bailey shuts down the Expos in the first as we head to the second in a scoreless tie. And Rivera, as a return to the favor, said, Felipe, there's a kid playing third base in the city in Venezuela who you ought to take a look at. That kid was Andres Galarraga. He said he was kind of chubby, kind of fat, but I saw the cat-like moves of the cat. And we decided to take a chance. Dante Bichette, the batter, 0 for 2 last night, but hitting 333. There's a ball hit deep into left center field. Back goes wide and Rodriguez, and you can forget about it. Dante Bichette with his first home run of the year, and the Rockies lead it two to nothing. Oh, I should say he does like hitting here. Of course, one of the raps on the Rockies a year ago, they couldn't hit on the road to hit all their home runs at home. This is the fifth game. That's the eighth home run they've hit, and obviously all of them have been on the road. That's their second time they've hit a home run with a man on. Ellis Burks, opening day, hit one with a man on. The rest of them have been solo. Cormier, fastball, and Dante got all of it. the ground swinging 3 and 0 oh. tough play here for Andrews throw to first is wild and it goes into the dugout Castile will be awarded second base up the middle Grezelonic spears it comes up firing off the bag though Segui safe at first moving to third Castilla 
Reed with an infield single to put Castillo to third. A little fly ball into shallow right field. Let's see if they test the arm of Orsalak. He makes the catch. Here comes Vinny. And now he goes back. Vinny went about halfway down the line and went back to third. You know, Gene Glenn wants to talk to Roger Bailey right now. I think Roger missed a sign. I mean, first pitch, he didn't score to bunt. He's ahead in the count, one ball, no strikes. So I, I think Bailey missed a sign. Mm -hmm. Up the middle, base hit. I told you Roger Bailey could hit. He drives home a run, 3 0 Rockies, as Reed moves to second. So the Rockies leading at 3 0, still threatening with runners at first and second. Just one out. Telford coming on, and we'll be back to Olympic Stadium in Montreal in a moment. The Rockies leading at 3 0, blowing this game open here in the second inning, and still threatening with runners at first and second, and just one out in the top of the order coming up to face Anthony Telford. So he's at first, in front of him. Here's the catcher, Reed. Hit on the ground. That's past the diving Andrews. They might have to hold up Reed. They do at third base. Would probably score three. Swing and a miss, though, and Burks goes down. Hope that wrist is okay. Looks like uh, Ken Televitz, Shalati, or Tom Probst. There's Walker with a little flare. That's going to drop for a hit. Walker's going to have a couple of runs batted in. Bailey races home. In front of him, Reed, and it's 5-0 Rockies. Larry Walker with uh, a flare over shortstop to drive home two. When you're hot, you're hot. Larry's been hitting the ball very hard. That time he got jammed, hit a little parachute shot to left field. But Roger Bailey and the Rockies will take it. They put a five spot up in the second. No, it's not flashing. Did he check? Looked like he spun his body around. They're going to check down at first. No, he did check in time. So Galarraga with his second consecutive walk. That'll load him up again. Up and in, ball four. Second consecutive walk by Telford. That walks home a run and make it 6 0 in favor of the Rockies. Then he could make it 10 with one swing of the bat. Off the end of the bat, though, this one to Lansing. He'll go to first, and that'll do it. But, but, the Rockies score six times on six hits, highlighted by Dante Bichette's two-run homer. Felipe Aluz Club's got a lot of catching up to do. Six-nothing Rocks. The Rockies with that six-run inning. Soup, they have already had two six-run innings on this trip. There's that changeup, and it's drilled out. familiar with the ballpark here in Montreal with a double for Henry Rodriguez. He had a fractured right thumb. He'll get the runner over. Young will throw out Segui as Rodriguez moves to third. Six nothing in favor of the Rockies. High pop up. Young standing there. This obviously will not get the run in. Rodriguez has to stay at third. That's a big out. We're in the bottom of the second. Six to nothing in favor of the Rockies. Change up. Ooh. And just missed. On the ground. Easy play for Bates. He goes the short way to Young. And the leadoff double for the Expos by Rodriguez does not pay off. Bailey pitches it around. And we go to the third. Six nothing in favor of the Rockies. We tried to hit that 3 0 pitch 10 miles into the left field seats. Reed hits it hard, but right at Lansing, who had him played perfectly. That game in Chicago between the Tigers and the White Sox has moved to the third, 4 3 now in favor of Detroit. Looks like they're still going to have pitching problems this year. A broken bat roller to Segui, and too quickly gone here in the Rockies' third. You see what time it is. It's 15.03 right now here in Montreal. I think that means it's a little bit past 3 o'clock. Montreal time. An easy inning for Telford as the Rockies go in order in the third. To the bottom of the inning we go. Still 6-0 in favor of Colorado. 
Rockies Minor League Report is brought to you by U.S. West. Colorado Springs got off to a good start on Thursday as Todd Helton went four for five, a homer and four RBI. Sky Sox a 10-3 winners against the Phoenix Firebirds. Well, they put it down as a 9.99 average, but technically it's a thousand. Scoreboard doesn't have the ability to go to a thousand. 500. Now they can move it down to 500. He's one for two in his career. On the ground, uh, Vinny Castillo. The makings of an easy inning so far for Roger Bailey. Too quickly gone in the third. Hit hard, but Vinny spears a little snow cone job. And then the throw to first. Good play, Vinny Castilla. And that'll do it for the Expos. They go one, two, three in the third. Shutout intact as we head to the fourth. Still 6-0 in favor of Colorado. And here's Eric Young to lead off the fourth. And here's Dave Campbell with the call. Bouncer to you, Andrews. And that's one out in the Rockies' fourth inning. Ellis a year ago became only the second player in Major League history to have 200 hits, 40 home runs, and 30 stolen bases in the same year. Hank Aaron, the other drive to right, Orselek has it. Two up, two down. Larry Walker steps in. Two RBI bloop single his last time up. One for two on the afternoon. This one is hit a long ways, and it is gone. Seven nothing Rockies. home runs already for Larry Walker. Wow. Halfway to the major league record of homering in eight straight games. Walker is now homered in four straight. I know Walk missed a lot of action last year with that broken collarbone but he hit just six road home runs all of last season. He already has four on the first road trip. You talk about a guy who is locked in right now, and he has been locked in since spring training. He hit the ball hard in Tucson, and it's carried over. He went 0 for 4 in the opener. Since then, he's just been spanking it. And sometimes when you do great work, it's time to admire it. <laughs> Did you ever have the luxury of doing that? Once. <laughs> One time. <laughs> Oh boy, the smiles. Look at, and no one is smiling more than Don Baylor. It's good to have 33 back in that lineup. And we say that about Galarraga, not because pitchers don't pitch around him, but because Galarraga is a free swinger. He likes to get his hacks. Payoff pitch is drilled to deep left center, and you can kiss this one goodbye as well. The Rockies are putting on a show. What road woes. Three home runs in this game alone for the Rockies. Messrs. Walker, Galarraga, and Bichette. And the Blake Street Bombers have taken their show on the road. A breaking ball outside. He got the end of the bat on it and muscles it out of here. Eight nothing Rockies, ten home runs in five games on this road trip. Up the middle towards Grozelanik. Two up, two down, and then two bombs and a ground out. The Rockies have put two more up. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Eight nothing Colorado. RBIs for Dante Bichette, three for Larry Walker. Roger Bailey spun a one hitter to this point. And that held by Dante Bichette. Vinny on the move. Throw on target. One up, one down. They finished second in the East, and we're in the wild card hunt until the last weekend of the season. Down goes Rodriguez. Strikeout number one for Roger Bailey. <laughs> A terrific record last year. This is going to be trouble just inside the line. It'll be a double for David Segui. So he squibs one off the end of the bat. A two out double for Segui. 
This is playable in center for Ellis Burks. Bailey survives the two out double. We're through four full at the Olympic Stadium in Montreal. And it's been all Rockies to this point. New pitcher for Montreal, the third one employed today by Felipe Alou. It's Omar Dow. And four wide ones to Vinny Castilla. The way the second inning opened for the Rockies, Andres Galarraga drew a four pitch walk. Fooled badly on the hook. Reed strikes out the first out here in the fifth. Hit pretty well to center field. Rondell White, though, got a good jump and goes back and gets it. So Jason hit her right on the button, but Rondell White was able to track it down for out number two. Eight nothing Colorado. He has a good swing, but it's up the elevator shaft towards Mike Lansing. And the inning is over after the lead walk to Vinny Castillo. We're halfway through, and the Rockies are in command. Rockies in command as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Roger Bailey working on a two-hit shutout. And when you get a team like the Rockies, too, that can just look for your fastball, and that's all you can throw, you're in trouble. EY backhand throw, one up, one down. Full count to Andrews. Dowell on deck. And the Expos just got on the board. It was Andrews who was waiting to harpoon you. Bouncer towards Eric Young. He was second out in the inning. And Still, only one ball has left the infield except for Andrews. Draws a lot to the hole, it's going to get through for a hit. Gets the home opener at 105. Hit to Vinny, and that's the inning. So Lansing kind of flips the bat away in disgust. The Expos settle for the one on the Andrews homer. We go to the six. It is 8-1 Colorado. Larry Walker homering for the fourth consecutive game. And again, a four-pitch walk to open an inning. That's going to drive Felipe a little nuts. Obina, another Venezuelan pitcher for the Expos. Liner, but when you're going bad, it's always at somebody. 6 4 3. Well, they hit it right on the button, but right at Grezolani. Two there, two at Coors Field. Get there early for BP, huh? Oh, you bet. Walker has hit another one a long ways, and this one is gone as well. Larry Walker is in fuego. Now they're booing the Expos, not Larry Walker. Whoa, boy. Three for four today, two home runs, four runs batted in. Well, when the sluggers get in a zone, they can hit a bunch in a hurry, and Walker is the epitome of that. Tremendous extension. That's where he gets his power, isn't it? Oh, he's just he's strong. Oh, he is. Naturally strong. Just what a start for Larry Walker. Got a rocket, pops it up. Looks playable, although Andrews is having trouble, but grabs it and that'll do it. But the Rockies get that one back. They lost to the Andrews homer as Larry Walker is on a torrid streak. Six home runs a year ago on the road for Larry Walker. Five on the first trip. Unbelievable. Think he's making a statement? Ooh. Rondell White. Looper, EY can't quite get it. Still looking. These are notes on the fly, folks. 
Routine for Dante. Who looks the first out here in the bottom of the six. Sagi flares one. Has got a chance of getting in. No, Dante comes in and makes a great catch. <laughs> Dante saying, "Hey, I can play out here." <laughs> Look at that smiling. Said, "I'm working on my defense." Let's watch this again. Long way to go. And here I thought, no, he's going to stop. No, and then he goes, oh, I'm going for it. And a shoestring grab for Dante Bouchette. It's all going right. Base hit to left by Darren Fletcher. So all of a sudden they're finding Dante with fly balls and line drives. Two hits for Montreal. They strand two. We're two thirds of the way through, and Roger Bailey has it on cruise control. Rockies scored six in the second, and they've been in command all the way. With Williams, he never wrote anything down with regards to what tendencies pitchers had. But he said, What I forgot to ask him is Bichette sends this one into left center field, but playable. Rodriguez will call off Rondell White and make the catch. Third at bat against a starting pitcher was always my best shot to get a hit because they lose just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But anymore, unless unless a guy's pitching a great game, <laughs> especially when I hit down in the lineup, wasn't very often that starter was around for the third at bat. Vinny Castilla pulls this one and hits that one a long way. Another home run for the Rockies, the second of the year for Vinny Castilla. And the hit parade continues in Montreal. The Rockies are in double figures with 10. Only question on that one was whether it was going to hit one of the speakers. It looked like it went right in between them. Felipe Alou saying, man, I thought Rockies didn't take batting practice today. They're taking it now. What did Dow get up in his eyes? Woo. Vinny crushed that one. Down the aisle way. So Vinny sends it to the concession stand and the Rockies have put up 10 on the board. Reed spanks that one past Lansing for a single. So Reed with a hit off a left handed pitcher. He's two for four today. That one hit Bates. So he'll be awarded first base. Reed goes to second. Bailey swinging away and rips it into the corner. Here comes Reed. That one makes uh, Rodriguez makes a nice play, but it doesn't matter as Reed scores and a double for Bailey as Bates moves to third. A single and a double for Roger Bailey today and two runs batted in. Yeah, Bailey swings the bat well. I mean, this isn't any flute. It's pretty tough for Gino to get out of the way. This one poked out to second base. Lansing has to make a quick throw. He does to get Eric Young, but scoring is Bates. Now an even dozen for the Rockies. Vinny Castillo with a home run in this inning. Five for the Rockies in this game. They lead 12 to one. New pitcher for the Expos. Now Ellis Burks the batter. 0 for 4 today. Get into a double play. Hits sharply to shortstop his last time. But he joins the hit parade. Forget about this one, Ellis Burks with a two-run homer. On the first pitch from Dave Veers. Six home runs in the game, a new Rockies record. Well, Ellie hit a home run his second at bat of the season on opening day and then did not have another hit until this one. And did he crush... I'd like to get the distance on the six home runs today <laughs> and maybe get an average but Ellis Burks the way the Rockies are playing right now they might want to stay on the road for a while huh? <laughs> Larry Walker make it three wow now they're cheering in Montreal hats are flying out as in the hat trick
The jeers have turned to cheers here in Montreal. What a day. Three home runs for Walker. Three home runs in this inning alone for the Rockies. Seven in the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check swing back to Veers. This will do it, but the Rockies pan around again, score six more here in the seventh, and make it 15 to 1. Messrs. Walker, Burks, and Castilla, each with home runs in the seventh. Stretch time, and boy, do they need to stretch in Montreal. Six runs in the second inning, two more in the fourth, another in the sixth, six more in the seventh. When do we get to that total, folks? 15 to 1. That's not hits, that's runs. And Larry Walker has had the biggest of all days, three home runs. Swing and a miss. And Andrews is retired. Second strikeout for Bailey. Whew. He's just going, I mean, that first pitch he saw is just bang. So the Rockies go back-to-back -back home runs in this game twice in this one game. Gave up a lead double to Henry Rodriguez in the second and pitched around that. Rezolonic now starting to get warm. He has singles in each of his, excuse me, that's Stankiewicz batting four. Grezelonic. Lansing hits this one into left center field. And McCracken comes over and makes easy work of that one. So a single by the Expos, but stranded. We played seven, 15 to one, in favor of Larry Walker's Rockies. Must be that light air in Canada. I figure <laughs> when the Toronto Blue Jays hit 10 home runs a major league record that was in Toronto and the Rockies hit seven here their home run power and it kind of emphasizes what Dante Bichette and I were talking about in spring training when he said we've got some guys I know the numbers won't prove it but we've got some guys that can hit it out of anywhere and pretty tough when you hit 40 home runs and you have to bat six <laughs> isn't it hmm and he walks on four pitches. Reed lifts a high fly ball into right center field. Sherman Room Romando. Romando. Out there. The 3 2 pitch drilled by Bates. Back goes the center fielder. He won't get there. So Jason Bates joins the hit parade. They're going to hold Vinny up at third base. No sense rubbing it in. And he couldn't check in time here and strikes out. But he'll try to finish off the Expos. We go to the bottom half of the eighth inning, 15 to 1, in favor of Colorado. That's a Greg Maddox type game. Isn't 69 it? pitches through seven innings. Throwing strike one and getting a lot of ground balls. White hits this one to Vanderwall. They found him right away. He one hops at a base hit for Rondell White. Swing and a miss, and down goes Henry Rodriguez. Oh, Henry has struck out twice today. This one into the gap in right center field. It will plug the gap. Racing around third, heading home, Rondell White. The throw will be cut off by Galarraga. double for David Segui. Gone slow here. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit. Fletcher will drive home around as Segui comes around third. It just could be that Bailey, who even though he threw more innings than anyone else in spring training, might be running out of gas just a little bit. Ewise got this one, flips it to Bates for one, the relay in time, and the inning-ending double play. 
Good play by both Young and Bates up the middle. And that'll do it for the Expos in the eighth. They score two. We head to the ninth. The Rockies leading it 15 to three. Dave, I would say if you're a Rockies fan, you have been entertained today. It's okay to keep this one on tape, folks. <laughs> Don't listen to the announcers, but watch the home runs. He's been getting great sleep lately. Tapped out in front of the plate. Rubino will pick it up and throw out Eric Young, one gone in the night. Swing and a miss, down goes Coles. He's 0-2 so far in his rocky career. Roger Bailey, who had an outstanding game on the mound and also had two runs scored, two hits, two runs batted in. So there are a few other candidates, but Walker has had the biggest of all days. Swing and a miss, and down goes Vanderwall. So Urbina comes in and strikes out two in a 1 2 3 ninth inning. It's only the third time today the Rockies have been retired in order. To the bottom of the ninth we go, 15 to 3 in favor of the Rockies. Rockies leading it by a dozen, 15 to 3. Jeff McCurry pitching for the first time for the Rockies. First pitch from Strange is ripped to center field. McCracken on his horse and makes the grab up against the wall. Q nearly ran out of real estate. Got a good jump, grabbed it, and then crashed in. Took one look to see where he was. And a terrific catch by Quentin. Looks like he avoided injury, too. Sometimes in Dome Stadium, you hate to take your eye off the ball. Quentin did look down to see if he was getting close to that track. Now, FP Santangelo. First ball swinging, gets it to Galarraga. Two pitches, two outs for McCurry. That's his first win on the road since September 2nd of 95. Swing and a miss. And down goes Stankowitz. An easy one, two, three inning for Jeff McCurry in his Rockies debut. But it was the hitters who came to the forefront today as the Rockies explode. The Blake Street Bombers took their act on the road and win this one going away 15 to 3, the final. Dave and I will come back and wrap things up for Montreal in just a moment. It was kind of a fun day. Three of those seven home runs hit by a fellow by the name of Larry Walker. Is he your Coors player of the game? I think probably I'd get run out of Denver if he weren't. <laughs> so I, I think we're going to, Larry's had himself quite a week. He is, has six home runs in the first week of the season. This was his seventh inning homer. The final one, he hit this off Dave Veers. All of them were titanic blasts. He just goes, oops, well, another 120 feet around the bases. The Rockies win this one 15 to 3.